What is up ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a new Fjorda episode for you all today and today I'll be showing you how to tame the Desmodus as well as his abilities. Now guys, for this you are going to need a couple of things. First off, you're going to need some blood packs and you're going to need a sacrificial tame. Now, I would recommend a most drops as they have a relatively decent sized health pool for their size in terms of uh, what the Desmodus can pick up. Now, essentially what you need to do is feed your most chops to the Desmodus. Now you can see here, these guys are majority found in cave systems. So as long as you can find a cave, you'll generally find Desmoduses floating around. Well, flapping around, I should say. Now, what you want to do is you want to feed your most chops to the Desmodus. These guys function very similarly to the Bloodstalkers. And the reason you want to feed your most chops to the Desmodus is because feeding it will increase its taming effectiveness. They start at 50%. And obviously, the more you feed it, the more its taming effectiveness will go up. So you can see they're at 51.6 at the moment. We're going to try and get it to grab our most chops again. And you pretty much just want to get it to attack the most chops. And you want to use your whistles on uh, the most chops to get it to move around so that the Desmodus can pick it up and feast on it. Now, if you're noticing that the Desmodus is just kind of attacking it, try and get the most chops to move around a little bit more or whatever tame that you have got going for you. To move around but what i would recommend is focusing on a low level desmodus first before making your way up to a higher level one purely because you will need quite a few blood packs to tame this guy up obviously they are vampire bats technically so they will need blood packs you can see here his taming effectiveness is going up slightly it does take a very long time to increase the taming effectiveness and i haven't found a more reliable way to actually increase their taming effectiveness at this stage so this is the only way i know so far on how to uh, increase their taming effectiveness in terms of relative size to the dinosaur so once you're happy with the taming effectiveness what you want to do then is run up to the desmodus and let it latch onto you and make sure that you have blood packs in your inventory now i would recommend putting the blood packs in at the last slot of your inventory and you want to let the desmodus grab you once it grabs you, it will start taming based on the blood packs in your inventory. And you can see here, we're slowly feeding the Desmodus. It is consuming two blood packs at a stage, but that's essentially it. The only downside, obviously, is that the taming effectiveness will drop uh, a little bit, but you want to try and feed it with whatever you can spare to the Desmodus and that it can pick up. So just make sure that you've got that in mind if you want to try and tame the Desmodus up. Come and grab me, you bastard. They are a bit finicky when it comes to the grab. There we go. Uh, and this should be enough to tame it up after this, I would wager. A couple more blood packs and it should tame up. So yeah, you definitely want to try and get a lower level one because they do have the ability to gather blood packs. Now, once you've tamed up the Desmodus, you will need to craft a saddle for it. The saddle is learned at level 74. You need fiber, hide, metal ingots, and wood. It is crafted out of smithy. So make up your saddle, whack your saddle on your Desmodus Draculae, and then you are good to go. Now, once you've got your Desmodus tamed up, you'll have a couple of attacks. First one is a primary attack, which does a blighting effect, a biting effect, sorry. And this adds blood packs to your inventory. Now, you can also hold down the primary attack to actually do a screech. Now, this screech will mark enemy dinos for you as well as slow them down. You can see here, the raptor is moving at a much slower speed. Now, you can also pick up smaller creatures, and by holding the R key, you'll get access to a life steal effect. Now, this life steal effect will heal your bat as well as give you extra blood packs. However, this ability is on a cooldown, so you won't be able to use it all the time. You can see there in the bottom left hand corner, it does say life steal, and you can only use this on creatures that you are able to pick up with the secondary attack. Now, as well as this, the bat does have a grappling ability where you can latch onto things and essentially float there. Like a Tapihara, you can just chill there and do what you need to. You can use weapons and whatnot from the back of the Desmodus. So if you are trying to tra trank stuff out to tame up and whatnot, you can use the Desmodus and you can pretty much latch onto a lot of things, uh, like any walls or anything like that. Some trees you can even latch onto. So it's well worth taking a look at what you can actually latch onto with this guy and, uh, and going from there. Now they have a very good flying capacity so they can fly in a full circle, 360, whatever direction you want to call it. Very similar to the Tabihara. And they also have a glide ability where it's not as good as say like that went dismally, uh, where it's not as good as like the Griffin and the Snow Owl and stuff like that. But it's still pretty good for getting around and whatnot. As soon as you can try and get back on your bat, that is. Come here, just, dude, chill out. My god. 
So they do have a diving ability, like I said, where you can see there where you're actually able to move a little bit faster, which is pretty good. I definitely check that out. I do like the screeching ability as well, but let's shift over to the nighttime mode and see what exactly they can do at nighttime. Now it is nighttime here and you can see here that the screech will highlight enemies because obviously uh, it's much easier to see them at nighttime. And you can see there the screech is highlighting all the enemies. Now as well as that, the Desmodus has an invisibility ability where he turns invisible. Now you'll be completely invisible to wild dinos unless of course you decide to attack them. But it also cloaks you, the rider, in invisibility. So this is actually really good for PvPing because you're going to be able to hide from enemies. And like, I mean, it's a pretty solid hiding capacity. I don't know if it's as good as the Rock Drake, but I'd say it's pretty damn good and pretty up there. So I definitely recommend it's worth it, but you will consume more food as the ambient temperature gets lower. So if you're in colder areas, you need to be careful because your food can deplete, deplete very quickly. And it does use up quite a bit of the Desmodus stamina, but you can keep your cloaking on while you are flying in the middle of the night as well. You can only use this ability at nighttime though. Now, as well as that, if you hold down R in the middle of the night, you have the ability to turn on night vision. There we go. So you can see that night vision is up and running. Now, this is a bit different to the snow owl and whatnot, but it's still pretty terrifying, honestly. It's like absolutely horrifying. You can see there that the um, creatures and whatnot get highlighted as white. So it's night vision is pretty good. Now, you can also highlight things with the screech ability as well and let that pop. And it'll also radiate on this. So you can see there the creatures get thingied. It's pretty good if you're looking for like a specific sort of thing, I guess. But uh, it's I don't know if it's as good as the, the snow owls. But nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. So that's all the Desmodus' abilities and how to tame it. I definitely recommend getting your hands on a lower level one. Just so you can farm up the blood packs to get yourself a higher level one later down the line. But uh, yeah, the Desmodus, definitely worth taming up. Obviously, he is one of the new dinos. So obviously, everyone's going to go tame him up. And I'd heavily recommend it because this dude is pretty damn gnarly. One thing I do want to say though, can we get rid of the penis? Like, I know it's supposed to be his tail, but like, I'm just getting turkey slapped right now by this little thing. I just, I feel like they need to change that. It's very uncomfortable to look at. Nonetheless, that is going to wrap up the Desmodus video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one.